Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I've got more Clueless products for you guys from Hot Topic. So recently I did the Clueless palette video and apparently they have a matching lip gloss set. For whatever reason, the lip gloss set wasn't available when I got the palette. I kind of wish it was, but I've got it now. Um, and in case you were wondering, I am wearing the Clueless palette on my eyes right now. Um, I am using, I used the silver shade, this red shade right here, this one, and then a little bit of the kind of deeper grayish black shade just to kind of smoke things out a little bit. I mostly just wanted to use the silver shade and I thought it was really pretty. And actually it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, so yeah, I'm still getting some good use out of this. I do definitely like this palette a lot and it is still in stock in case you're curious. The lip collection. So this retails for $14.90 and it's on sale right now for $10.43. It's 30% off. It comes in the cute little bag. I gotta say I prefer the tins just cause I get more use out of them, but I get how the bag kind of fits with the whole Clueless theme, purse, whatever. It does have the little pom-pom right here on the handle, which is pretty much the exact same pom-pom they used for the topper of the brush on the palette. So I like that they try to make it cohesive like that. Let me go ahead and open this up because I feel like I'm just kind of showing you guys a glare because of the silver in the background. Okay, so I popped these out so you guys can actually see them a little bit better. Please forgive my nails. I know they look jacked up. I'm about to actually change my polish, but I needed to get this video filmed before my kid goes to sleep and I can change my polish while he's sleeping. So these are what the toppers look like right here. They're really cute, kind of styled after the girl's outfits. Not exactly the best quality compared to some of the ones we've seen recently because this kind of goes back to being a sticker that's just wrapped around the cap and you've got these little like gems and bows and whatnot just glued on here. I can see this getting messed up really quickly if you keep it in your purse, so that is a downside there. Um, and I thought they were gonna be named after the girls, but they're not. They've got different names, like this one is You're a Virgin Who Can't Drive. This one is Don't Call Me a Woman. And of course, totally bugging. You gotta have that for share. So we're just gonna go through and do a swatch video. So for once, this actually says lip gloss on here and their website said lip gloss. So I'm expecting lip glosses here, which I'm actually happy about. I think I'm the most excited about this one cause I like a good nude. So let me go ahead and just do the swatches for you guys and then we can chat about the formula. All right guys, so those are the swatches. I'm gonna be really honest here. I do not like this collection. It's probably one of my least favorite lip collections that I've um, tried out from Hot Topic, which is kind of sad because I usually love their lip collections. Maybe like I don't like one or two of them, um, depending on how big the collection is, but usually I find some favorites. Uh, I just don't really like any of these very much. I mean, first off the packaging is really starting to irritate me because the one that's supposed to look like Cher with the cute little rhinestones around it. My rhinestones are already coming off. This one, the Dion kind of inspired one, I actually love and I think it's super cute. But then when I went to put it on, it's really obnoxious holding on to this because you have this kind of bow and it's kind of bulky and it just makes it awkward to hold. Um, this one I don't have any problems with and I'm sure this little heart's probably gonna fall off not too long from now. As far as the colors go, you guys already know that I really don't like these kind of bright pastel pinks that they do. I mean, I get with Cher, that's why they did it. Um, I actually do like the fact that I was able to sheer this out to a pink that I actually liked for myself. So it didn't, it didn't have too much of that pink opacity to where I didn't like it. I was able to kind of make it a little bit more sheer. So I, I just did one simple coat. So that's kind of why it might have looked a little bit more sheer in the swatch that I did for you guys. Um, this nude color that I thought I was gonna love was so light. I just kind of felt like you barely noticed it on my lips. I mean, it's perfectly fine for a gloss just to have a glossy lip, but I have a ton of gloss, so I didn't really need kind of a plain glossy lip. I don't know. Um, and I also will say the applicators on all of these, 
They're similar to ones that I've noticed before from Hot Topic with their glosses to where it just doesn't pick up enough product. So you're really dipping back in to get more and more and more with these glosses. They just kind of need a fluffier applicator, I feel like, to really soak up some of that gloss so that, you know, you get it in a good swipe. Um, and then this one right here, the color I'm wearing right now, I really love the color of it. But again, because of the gloss nature, I feel like it's just kind of very sheared out and patchy almost. I do want to apply it over the top of maybe a lip liner just to see how that looks because I've already bought this stuff. I am going to try to get some use out of it here and there wherever I can. That's what I always do with these products. Um, so I don't mind tweaking them by using a lip liner or a lipstick, but I just want to make sure that you guys know the things that I see or notice so that if you don't want to deal with this kind of stuff, don't waste your money. I mean, you worked for, you worked hard for it. You shouldn't waste your money on something that you're not going to like. So. Let me grab a lip liner and we'll retry on this particular shade because it's probably my favorite shade out of the whole bunch. And I just want to see how it looks with a, with a lip liner on underneath. Okay. I am going to use this Jordana lip liner in the shade Merlot just to line the lips and fill them in. And then I'm going to top them with the, um, Dion inspired gloss. And now to top it with the don't call me woman gloss. Okay, so I definitely like the way that this lip gloss looks over the top of a lip liner. I don't feel like it looks patchy anymore. So this will definitely be the way that I end up using these because, you know, I already bought them, I'm gonna use them. So if you do want these because you're just a diehard Clueless fan and you really, really want them, I have a feeling that wearing them over the top of a lip liner or a lipstick is going to be the best way for you to use them and enjoy them. Um, this one especially, because it's the most opaque, really needs something underneath it. You could get away with these just being put on your lips by yourself. There's going to be um, a lighter, almost sheer, glossy type of color. I personally like this pink sheared out. That's just the way I like it because I don't like that pastel pink, but you could load it up if you wanted to, or you could put um, a pink lip liner underneath it. But I really just think that, I mean, you're only going to get this if you're a big Clueless fan, because I don't think as far as the glosses go, I don't think that they're worth it. I mean, the packaging is super cute from far away, but up close, you can tell that it's just very cheap and it's probably going to fall apart very quickly. <laughs> I just realized the packaging is a total Monet. <laughs> Hello Clueless reference. <laughs> so I don't know if they did that on purpose. I sure hope not. I'm sure they were probably just trying to be affordable and cheap, but I mean, as cute as we've seen some of these caps recently, like for the Sally Nightmare Before Christmas one and the Alice in Wonderland birthday collection, those had some really cute molded caps. So I don't understand the backwards step into something like this, where it's a sticker wrapper with hot glued on gems that are probably going to fall off very soon. So that's just a bit disappointing for me. So I would say if you are in the market for a cute lip collection, I would go with one of those other two collections that Hot Topic has right now, um, or even their Black Heart Beauty ones that they have. I think they have some crystal ones that are kind of neutral colors similar to this. Um, I just think that the lip creams, or I think they call it matte lip stain, it might be what they call it, um, but their cream formula is definitely by far the best formula they have there. Lip glosses are definitely hit and miss, and I do feel like these were a bit of a miss. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this swatch video. If you did, of course, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.